If you don't know what grindcore is, then check out this video. Now let's meet some grindcore siblings. Gore grind. If you're eating right now, then please skip to death grind. It sounds like where they're performing illegal surgeries where they just Wee. fling around the organs while recording. Compared to grindcore, it boasts more influences from death metal, sounding harsher, heavier, extremely, and intensely, but mainly focuses on its disgusting, mushy, wet, organ-like vocals, and album covers with lots of ketchups. Going back to grindcore days, Carcass pioneered the low grind vocals and fit with thing with his album Reek of Putrefaction. <laughs> Along with his album covers having body parts from medical books looking very go gorgeous. Gorgeous. And in Batigo's last cannibal world, adding some fine flush dining intros. <laughs> the drama gained its popularity in the 90s with bands like The Last Days of Humanity. <laughs> Dead infection. General surgery, etc. Bands include pathologists, hemorrhage, squash bows, Death Grind, a perfect blend of death metal's brutality and grindcore's intensity, having slower, longer songs while combining both vocal styles, rifting, and drumming. Coming from grindcore days when some bands accidentally added too much death metal into their sound, like Asuk with Anti Capital, <laughs> Brutal Death with Need to Control, <laughs> and Repulsion with Horrified. <laughs> Having slower, longer sections, heavier growlings, and breakdowns, I don't know how you say it. Other pioneers include Boat Throwers and Bow Death No Law, Blood's Impulse to Destroy, and Terrorizer's World Downfall. But I think Darker Days Ahead sounds even more death grind. Fans include Nausea, Impaled, Mortician, Etc. Before we continue, make sure to like and subscribe. Your support is my motivation and backbone to continue posting these videos. So please like and subscribe. Now back to the video. Black and grindcore. You can imagine how chaotic it is when you mix two utterly extreme dramas together. Having black metal, often atmospheric black metal's rawness and cult scream with grindcore. <laughs> It's so underground that there's no history on who started it, but I'm guessing it's around late 80s to 90s. With bands like Rotten Christ with Leprosy of Death, <laughs> Naked Whippers, Pink Streaks, <laughs> Mullet, Acid. <laughs> And form was subject to damage. Plus, negative putrefactions hell's eater not being on the internet. Then Afrock released the Codex Necro, making the drama gain some attention. Fans include Impaled Nazarene, Killgasm. Folk pig, etc. Also, I discovered this song called Black and Gold Grind. Worth listening if you're a fan of both genres. Cyber Grind. When Grindcore discovers technology and industrial metal, adding synths, drum machines, samplers, while occasionally having similarities with Brickcore. <laughs> Interestingly, half of the bands are gold grind as well, so you could enjoy two dramas together. During Industrial's peak era, some bands decided to add electronics into their sound as well, like The Locust with The Locust, <laughs> Aerophobic Nosebleed with Altered States of America, 
had an urgent motivation with Death to Pigs. They even named their drum machine Cyber EMF. But the most notable leader being the Berserker, being more abrasive with industrial music, having the real cyber grind sound. Fans include Gigantic Brain, SMES, We came with broken teeth, etc. Gorgon's child, instead of saying about surgery, it sings about non romantically and violently. It's slower, groovier, even more death metal leaning, so it often ties with slam death metal. Known for its vivid, ear-bleeding lyrics and eye-bleaching covers, please help. The earliest music is for Meat Sheaf's regurgitated Sea Man, sounding like they're really regurgitating it. The band also includes snippets and audios from movies, so if you want to dive deeper into the band, then watch out. The, the drama spun off the basement in mid-90s to 2000s with Guts' Order of Torture, and Chicken and Ball Torture's Six. Being the headliners of Fans include Porky Virginia, <laughs> Toys of Folklore, <laughs> Nuclear Farmit, <laughs> etc. Hope you guys didn't puke your food and drinks after this video. I will pay back your meal, don't worry. Please at your info or recommend your bands in the comment section. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye bye. Bye.